The 20th anniversary of 9-11, of course, just a couple of days away. And now, the ranking member of the House Homeland Security Committee says we risk making some of the same intelligence and information failures that preceded those attacks. And here to discuss is New York Congressman John Katko. Welcome, Congressman Katko. We appreciate your time today. So give us a sense of how vulnerable you think we are right now, and are we doing all we can to prevent another attack? Well, I can tell you I'm here in New York City right now commemorating 9-11, and uh, for sure uh, law enforcement on a federal, state, and local level is working wonderfully together, better than ever before. But, you know, going forward, we have a couple of unknowns, and that being the, the, the renewed threat of al-Qaeda uh, running amok in Afghanistan and, and our open southern borders. So those two things, I think, are real security gaps, especially since we don't have boots on the ground in Afghanistan anymore. We don't, have any, we don't have that intelligence that we so desperately need to keep this country safe. So those are two things we're working on, for and, sure, going and, forward. Co Congressman, we have, uh, of course, a poll here, ABC News Washington Post poll. 49% of Americans see the U.S. as safer from terrorism now than it was before 9-11. Now, that number is actually down uh, from 64%, which was just 10 years ago. But again, you, you, you pointed out some uh, issues you might have and still concerns but as you, a member of the Homeland Security Committee, do you actually think, uh, are you confident we certainly are safer now, yes? Oh, from 9-11, oh, there's no question about it. And the biggest reason is because uh, the various law enforcement and intelligence agencies on the various levels of government, federal, state, and local, do a tremendous job of sharing information and co-locating and, and uh, playing uh, team ball here. That didn't happen prior to 9-11. That was one of the biggest failures of 9-11. So in that regard, for sure. But if you're asking going forward what my concerns are and, and whether we're, we're doing everything we can, Afghanistan's a big concern and so is the border. There's just no question about it. Congressman, you're here. Uh, you're about to head a roundtable discussion. You're talking about collaboration between the Homeland Security uh, Committee there and first responders. What do you hope to learn from that meeting and where do we go from here? Well, I hope to learn that there's a lot of good news. And we spent the last days going to the uh, fire department in New York headquarters and then the police headquarters, speaking to the, the commissioners and, and the, the, the brass at both places. And we visited firehouses and we've talked to the locals. And it's clear that uh, there's, there's a, a lot of good synergy going on. So I think we're going to hear a lot of good things. But I also think we're going to hear more of what we heard yesterday. And that, that is that there's a concern about the rise in chatter surrounding 9-11, which there always is, especially on, on, on the 20th anniversary. But also uh, what happened in Afghanistan, I think, by some of the bad guys is being cheered on. And some of those bad guys are in the United States. So it's incumbent upon us to work together, whether you're a Democrat or Republican, uh, no matter who you are. Uh, on Homeland Security, and we work very well together to make sure we give law enforcement and intelligence agencies all the tools they need to keep our country safe. That's our job. You expressed concerns before that terrorists are possibly trying to use our southern border to get into the U.S. Have you seen something? Have you seen evidence, anything alarming, any hard evidence that, in fact, the border has been uh, used by terrorists to come into this country at, I, I guess, it's not uncommon, but at some alarming number, in your opinion? Uh, yes, I have, and you know uh, we, we've been given uh, uh, secret briefings, if you will, and the, you know, the, the hard evidence isn't isn't uh, public knowledge. But I'll just quote the outgoing Customs and Border Patrol uh, chief, who said that the number of known and suspected terrorists that are being apprehended at the southern border is at unprecedented levels, and that's 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 a very serious concern for me. And we're working with Homeland Security to get those numbers out because the numbers themselves shouldn't be classified. The people that actually are caught, we can keep that classified, but if there's no question there's an uptick in a number of people on terror watch lists or from uh, air, hotbed areas of the world that we're very concerned about that have been apprehended at the border. Now, don't forget, those are just the ones we apprehended. There's an awful lot of people that got through the border now that are not being apprehended, and that's another concern. Congressman, you know more than anyone just how politically divided this country is. We had a global pandemic. One might think that would unite us, but a lot of people would point to the fact that it's further divided us. And yet after 9-11, after those terror attacks, we were one. We were truly united. Do you mm -hmm. think we can get back to that place as a country? Is it possible? On Homeland Security, no, no one gives a darn whether you're Republican or Democrat. We all just care about keeping our country safe. We are very united in that regard on the committee, and I work very well with the chairman. I work very well with my Dem counterparts, and we co-sponsor each other's bills. So in our little neck of the woods, for sure, 
Uh, we, we get along very well and we do things for the good of the country. We need more of that across the spectrum in, in politics and we need it We need it now. New York Congressman John Katko, it is always a pleasure to have you on the program. Thank you for being with us. Sure thing. Thank you. God bless. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.